In this video, we're going to use direct modeling tools to ensure that the part can be correctly molded. If you don't have it open already, come to your recent file list and open stage one. The first thing we need to do is to check that the part can be molded. Click on Visualization and then Undercut Shading. What you're looking for at this stage is regions that are red. These are regions that do not have adequate draft. All of the upper faces of this particular part look OK. But what about underneath? What we need to do in order to see this correctly is to arrange a new work plane that points in a, the opposite direction from the standard Z. Click on work plane, select the upper face of one of the bosses and then create an aligned work plane. The work plane is now aligned so that it's Z is exactly normal to the face that you had selected. And we can see that we have adequate draft all the way around the inside of the part, except for these two boss regions, these two at the front, and also the sides of the support, the support pins. Come back to visualization, turn that off, and you can also see that we have another problem, and this is a modeling error, in that the fins on the side of this fixing boss are too short. So we need to extend these somehow. The difficulty here is that you can't select them because you cannot see them. I can select the sides, but I can't select the bottom edge. Fortunately, there's a way to do this quite quickly and simply, and that is right click and hit dynamic sectioning. You can now drag a dynamic section through the part just simply using the cursor, and now you can see these faces. Select this one, and it will go orange. Drag further through the part until you can see the corresponding face on the other side and add it to the current selection using shift and left mouse. So now we have those two faces selected. So what can we do to fix them? Well, quite simply, we hit edit and then move and we're going to move them in Z by minus five. If we now just use the middle mouse button to rotate the view, you can see where those two new faces are going to be moved to, but they will automatically be trimmed to the first faces they touch. So they're not going to come all the way through the part, they're just going to stop when they hit the first face, which is the face on the underside of the part from this view. So now these are correct, but we still have some issues because uh, we know that there is inadequate draft on the sides of these particular faces here. So now we go through and select just simply by clicking with the shift button held down to add to the current selection. If you select something by mistake and want to remove it, hit control and left click, and it toggles out of the selection. We might as well do all 16 faces in one operation. Just means a little more selection. But again, we go around and select the eight faces on this side of the part. Then click Manage, 
and click the draft icon. By default, that will give us an angle of five degrees, which is possibly a little bit too excessive. So change it to two and then select any of the flat faces at the top of the ribs. After a few seconds, you'll see a blue preview that shows the result of that command. And if you're happy, either press apply or just right click the mouse to apply that command. And then cancel that dialog. So now we've corrected the taper on these regions. Now we just need to sort out what is happening on these bosses at the tops. For this kind of part, you would very often use a core pin. So we're going to just completely lose these features. So what we can do is to select them. Just again, just select the, so the solid itself first, and then drill down by selection until the faces you're interested in go orange. Remove and heal will delete those faces and also close up any remaining holes. An alternative way to do pretty much the same thing is to use a replace face command. Again, we're going to select those two top faces. And in this case, we're going to say replace and then pick the replacement face. The yellow preview shows you the result. And if you're happy, right click to accept that result. We can now do a quick check again using the visualization tools to make sure that everything is as it should be. We no longer need this work plane, so simply select it and press delete. Turn off undercut shading and we're now ready to go on to stage three. So save this model again using a save as and we're going to call this toy car surfaces stage two and save.